Hi guys, good evening. So it's already, what time is it? 7.20. Yep, 7.20 and it's 108 degrees at the moment. Oh, let me actually, oh, it's 102, sorry, it's 102 degrees in outside. So it's very hot. So I did some errands today, it's my only day off. I was working Wednesday, Thursday, and um, tomorrow is a weekend. And I'm still gonna be working tomorrow. So, yep, anyway. What I'm gonna do today, this is my first beauty video because I love makeup. Actually, this is the first time I'm gonna use this vanity again. Um, I haven't used this for two years at least. And when we moved to this house, when we bought this house, um, let me show you. So this is my vanity mirror. There you go in my table here. Um, this is one of the spare rooms, um, one of the guest rooms. Um, my mom used this room um, for the first time when she came back from the Philippines. Um, but the second time she came back, she, she used the upstairs bedroom. So I haven't really used this room because um, I find that after, you know, getting ready, you're showering, um, I just want to use the the mirror um, in the bathroom so that's why I haven't really been here so I'm gonna use this opportunity to use this again because um, of the lights as you can see it's um has a lot of lights um the ring light that we my husband ordered it still hasn't arrived so I don't know when it will be arriving so what are we gonna do for my first um, beauty video um, I already had put some um, a bit of foundation earlier today I'm um, just fit I was able to fix a little bit of my eyebrows a lot of the stray hairs there <laughs> but yeah what I'm gonna do today is actually unbox and review um, Patrick star makeup line is the one size And the reason I chose this one, number one, Patrick Starr is Filipino-American. And I have been watching his video for quite some time, for several years now. I love him. Um, he's very confident. He's fun. Um, you can learn a lot with how he uses all his brushes, his makeup, um, you know all, all the way he he present himself as well is really really um, inspiring too um, he's very confident and I just like everything about him and of course he's Filipino so of course proud Pinoy I want to support him as well and buy his products actually I bought some of his products before I'm not sure if it's here um, the the mac collection i think i bought two collections of his um in the mac line i think it was a summer and winter collection and i just need to find it here but anyway i bought this from sephora and this one um this one is the makeup dissolving mist um let's see what it says here it's an epic continuous mist that dissolves makeup on contact with calming jojoba and brightening rosehip oils. So I'm not sure if you actually need to... Oh, so you just um, spray it away to your face, massage into skin, and gently wipe off. So yeah, I'll, I'll try this later on. But um, what I really wanted to try is this um, palette, eyeshadow palette, let's see. I haven't used this yet. Um, it arrived Friday, yesterday. Um, I didn't buy his um, other eyeshadow liquid um, formula because um, I just want the whole palette. So 
So this is what it looks like. Got it parang tabingi. What happened there? Hmm. Right off the bat, um, it's quite a good size. Oh, so this is. Uh, akala ko mali lang yung size. <laughs> of course, um, his palette says one size, right? But look at his packaging. Um, I thought it's just um something's wrong with it, but it's like this. Um, it's actually diagonal here, a little bit longer on this side. But there's a black side, this one, and it shows the inside of the palette. Oh, let's open this. Oops. There you go. There you go. It has actually has good neutrals. Actually, nahulog yung aking. Nasa na yun? Ang mami ako na hawnapin. So, it has a good, um neutral palette a lot of browns highlight um there's one stand out blue i like the actual name of it it he really showcased that he is filipino um there is eye shadow here it says manila sands of course manila um and then mango Vanilla and mango. And matcha. There's rebel gray. Blue mondu. Olive it. Suede charm. Ooh, the turban legend. This black one. Of course, um, Patrick Starr really famous with his um turbans. And brownie. Top of my game. And soft serve. Bolt. So let's try something. Let's play with makeup. Even though I'm not gonna go out tonight. Let's see. I think I'm just gonna do a neutral eyeshadow. So I'm using my Artis. Eyeshadow. Um oval this is oval three this is for the eyeshadow brushes i also have this one i use for my foundation it's quite dingy a little bit i just use this and this one is for my powder the one i use for blush is different one it's not artiste um i like it since i bought this one way back in um at least one and a half years now i've been using it i really like it because it's so soft um you actually don't need a lot of products it really spread out evenly with your foundation your powder and this one we're gonna use for um the eyeshadows actually i forgot to bring uh, my the one that you clean it with so you can just use one eyeshadow brush and this one is more linear um it's more to line your eyes so we're gonna use that later on. Ay, ay, ay. It's so hot outside. And I'm my hair's getting more frizzy and frizzier because of the weather. <laughs> so let's try this one. So I'm gonna use for my base more mango. I love makeup, but I'm not really a makeup artist, nothing like that. I just adore makeup because you can do a lot and change your look with makeup. As um, what Patrick says before, one, makeup is one size fits all. So yeah, it's really up to your taste on how you use makeup. Um, usually for me, Sorry, I've been looking in the viewfinder if I'm in, actually in the center. Um, usually, I don't really use a lot of eyeshadow anymore. Usually, I just, um, when I go out, just a foundation, um, red bold lipstick. I usually have my eye bare, usually just an eyebrow 
liner just to fill in my eyebrows. Um, sometimes I do cat eyes, um, but it really depends on if I'm actually on, in a rush to get out. Um, but yeah, I don't really use much of eyeshadows anymore. When I was younger, I do use a lot of makeup, uh, mostly eyeshadows, uh, mascara, eyeliner, the whole shebang. But nowadays, I don't really use a lot of makeup anymore. Um, but I like it. Um, the first time I really use a lot of makeup was way back in fourth year high school um even um in school even though at that time it was really forbidden for students to use makeup what i'll do i wear a lot of mascara i don't use um eyeshadows at that time most mostly mascara and eyeliner and then um of course our teachers are strict has to take it off and then um yeah then when i enter college if i have time because i commute a lot in college so okay that's mango a little bit of yellowish undertone and let's do That's the face. Should we do something brown, soft surf or more of soft surf? Let's try this. When I was younger, I really wish that I have um bigger eyes um as you can see i'm my eyes is more slanted i have eyelids it's just that i want my eyes to be bigger um but now i really love my eyes because it's me and i learned to love myself more and um, i appreciate my eyes now compared when when I was younger because in Manila um, the beauty standard there was different at that time when I was growing up um, the beauty standard there was more of more of like um, European standards like um, big eyes fair skin um, more of mestiza as we call it more like spanish um type of beauty and of course champagne i'm not spanish type of beauty i'm more of um filipino talaga so i do have fair skin but not too fair just enough and then um yeah my eyes is more smaller even though I do have an eyelid, but yeah, when I was younger, I really wish that I had more bigger eyes and more double eyelid. But now I appreciate it and I love myself more that um, I like my eyes this way. And this is me. <laughs> I was joking to my mom. Ah, I wish I had a um, taller nose. I'll do um, a major overhaul, you know, with um, some of the most um, known um, dermatologists um, in the Philippines. That I'll have my rhinoplasty, um, have my jaw contour, more of the cheekbone as well. But I have to lose a lot of weight. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking my viewfinder, sorry. So yeah, but now, no, I kind of like my nose by itself like this. I don't want to go underneath the, the knife. 
هذا سلة But yeah, it doesn't mean that you know that I changed my mind. I don't know if um if I'm still gonna feel this way in ten years time. I might change my mind. But it is not wrong. It's, there's nothing wrong of um improving yourself. If you want to change something with yourself, go ahead. It's actually good. You love yourself more that you know. You you want to change something in yourself. So if you want to change, you know, the way you look, you know, just to polish yourself, that's fine. If you want to go under the knife, have the rhinoplasty, the jaw um, shaving, and the cheekbone shaving, that's fine too. So I'm using the title holder now. I'm not sure what is the process of Patrick of naming all the eyeshadows, um, but the title holder... I can just guess that this is because a lot of Filipino um, love um, pageants. So Miss Universe, Miss World, Miss International, we watch it all. So maybe this is one of the reasons that um, he named one of the eyeshadow title holder. I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm just putting it in, the, in my lids. Just to give it a little bit sparkle. Okay. <laughs> Is it okay? Does it look okay? Yeah, usually in my eyeshadow, I usually choose something pinkish or more of the natural, like more brown. Um, pinkish is because um, it makes me look younger. <laughs> we aim to look younger. So, yeah. Hmm. Um, this is not a tutorial because um, there's a lot of video there out there that um, give you more information. Um, this is more like a sit down, me trying this out. Um, and of course, I want to support Patrick Star. I really want to support all Filipinos who do business. Um, either here or in Philippines or other part of the country because you know I think we need more representation and more diversity and it's about time that we're you know our voice should be heard um, that's why I really support any Filipino artist um, any designer Filipino designer or even a small businesses startup companies um, that is owned or managed by Filipinos you better know I'm gonna be on that. Are you guys excited for Mulan? Mulan will be showing soon. I think um, September 4 here in the United States. I'm not sure if in the Philippines is more earlier than that. But yeah, I'm excited for Mulan. I'm kind of thinking of actually subscribing now for Disney Plus. I know we don't have this Disney Plus yet. Oh, I'm just putting the highlighter Manila Sands underneath my eyebrow. Um, ooh, it's actually good. Huh? It has a good color payoff. Atma Anisha, what do you call it? It's very um opaque. Manila's hands. There you go. Can you see it? <laughs> and then let me, I think that's it. I don't really want to put anything else to my eyes because I, 
I just put um, mango all over and then I put um, soft serve just to give it more depth to my eyelid just to give it more it looks bigger now right and then I put Manila Sands underneath my eyebrows and then I'm just gonna put more I put title holder as well just to give it a little bit of um, sparkle sparkle maybe I'll do the more mango underneath my eyes too Yun lang, if you're actually putting um, eyeshadow after your foundation, everything, there's a fall off in your cheeks. Um, in some tutorials, you actually put like a masking tape to protect it. Or um, you actually do your foundation last. But um, we're not gonna do that anymore. See, my foundation's all over the place. And mind you, this is not a tutorial. I just love makeup and it, maybe this is la how not to do <laughs> not how not to do your makeup can you see me is it too close I'm going that way because I want to see myself in the mirror it's a massive mirror Aaron anyway but yeah, you can see this bed. It's a day bed. Um, I only got it from Facebook Marketplace. I asked my husband to pick it up in Modesto. Oh my God, he said it's so heavy. I actually tried to carry it as well going inside the house. It was so heavy. He was so angry with me because um, he was just working at the time. And going back from work and he had to pick it up for me and it's only 100 uh, no not 150 250 dollars 250 dollars is a day bed is a pottery bound pottery barn bed it's all wood and there's also a trundle um, underneath it um, the mattress the original mattress of the top I put it on the trundle Part, and I just uh, I just bought a new um, memory foam mattress on top and my mom said it's quite comfortable so which is good initially when we bought this house because this is on the ground floor too I uh, have a second floor house um, I planned this uh, room to be my makeup room my dressing room and actually plan to put IKEA pack system but my husband said it's gonna be a waste of space because um, um, we need the space to put a bed on it. He said just put a bed. You can put. You can still use it as a makeup room or whatever you wanted. But he just want an under bed just in case we have guests. So the solution is put a day bed. So I'm just gonna put this Turban Legend eyeshadow as a liner, and I'm using this linear um, brush. Um, this is linear one just to give more um, like an eyeliner smoky effect to my eyes because now when now that I'm much older not much older I know I look young that's why I always uh, wear makeup because um I'm always asked that um you know they thought I'm either a college student or high school student sometimes because I'm quite short um and my features looks young that's why I always wear makeup outside especially um when I was at work um I use I always use makeup even though without the eyeshadow is because um yeah I look young and my patient thought I'm a new nurse I said no I've been a nurse a long time but yeah um, that's why I wear makeup just to give me more like that mm, age look like um fine wine look 
So yeah, if you can see my eyes, I just put the Turban Legend Black Eyeshadow as um eyeliner instead. Can you see it? Maybe I can use it as an eyebrow. Hmm, pretty. Just to give it the finishing. Because I have a lot of um, eyebrow hair already, so maybe just to define it. And I don't need the eyebrow pencil. Oh, it's actually working. There you go. Is it okay? <laughs> Is it okay? Ay, ay, ay. Maybe I should have um, put brownie here, the brownie eyeshadow on my eyebrows. I said the black looks like it's a bit harsh. Right? Where's my tissue? Yeah. One thing I like about makeup because you can experiment, you can express yourself with makeup. Um, before, like five years ago, when Jeffree Star initially started, I tried his lipsticks. You know, like the experimental purple one, um, the blue one. Um, but yeah, but now I'm more of classic red lipstick. And you know, as you go older, you find your style more, you're more sure of yourself on what you like. You can still experiment on, you know, new things, but sometimes you have that style or look that you're, you always go back to. And um, you don't really need to always um, try something new, you know, because you're comfortable already with on how you look and what you can um, show but really depends on the mood as well sometimes you just want to go all out and you know experiment and have more things put in your face um, you know all the highlights the blusher contouring um, you can do that too but for myself um, for the past three years, I haven't contoured or anything in my face. I just like it a bit fresh, um, more like Korean vibe, more of a dewy look. Sometimes I don't like the dewiness because I'm already oily anyway. Like right now, I'm getting oily again. Good thing the aircon is right above it. But yeah. So we're done. Yeah, we're almost done. So... This my look. Do I look younger? <laughs> I hope a little. I, I did it a little bit justice in my eyes, and actually look good on me. But I really like it. It's actually. I heard some of the reviews. Um, they said that this one is so neutral, but I think it's actually good. If this is your first palette, um, it's actually good set of um colors because it's not too experimental um this is like a everyday look like from day to night look because um if you have like um something to to um oops sorry after work like you're going somewhere um this one like the blue the rebel gray and the turban legend and you can play off with the olive it it's actually good already colors for the for I any mean, night time already so i don't think you need to use much oh, hold on yeah so i don't think you need to use a lot of um eyeshadows um it's just to add to accent the eyes anyway it's really up to you but i really like all that he chose for this color palette his first color eyebrow i'm sorry 
eyeshadow eyeshadow palette it's because it's um everyday use um everything i'm gonna use um from this side this i really like to the suede charm brownie top of my game um, manila sands title holder all these colors even even with booked and mango um you can use it every day it's not um very loud colors so you can use it um while you're at work you know especially if you're a professional you're in a meeting you don't want a bright eyeshadow or you know the blue one um especially you're in if you're in a meeting but once you know you're out outside and um you finish your your work already you're meeting your girlfriends and then change up your your eyeshadow so that's that let's put lipstick i'm using pat magra full panic it's a pinkish one Is it um very old lady of me using a regular lipstick? <laughs> it's a matte lipstick too. I do have liquid lipstick that I've used. I have several here. But um sometimes a good old style of lipstick is easier. And of course, I didn't use any eyeliner anymore. Just put it straight away to my lips. Um, this is a pink lipstick. Um, I prefer reds, pinks. Um, the nudes, depending on how deep is the nude, um, sometimes in my skin tone, it doesn't work well. Sometimes with me, with nudes, it really depends. But yeah, it's just I prefer red. It's, um, as you can see, my style. Red lipstick or pink lipstick. Um, yeah. What to do with my hair? It's all over the place. <laughs> uh, let's put the... I like this one. I bought this from an estate sale. It's a clip-on earrings. It's so nice. I think the gold is um gold-plated. And I think, yeah, I don't think this is um real gold. But this one is enameled. Blue enamel. 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 <laughs> what am I saying? I can't speak. It's quite heavy, huh? I I love going to estate sales, but I haven't recently because of COVID. I think the last time that I did estate sale was way back, maybe October, September last year. Because you, you really find good stuff. With estate sale depending on where you go so yeah I think this is it do I look like an old lady ah. summer is almost over can you believe it is almost half of August already I can't believe how fast the time I love staying at home. I, I'm still working. I work at home at the moment. But yeah. So alright guys. Sorry about this um video. It's all over the place. <laughs> um, I'm getting tired um, from today. And maybe because.
because I know I'm gonna work tomorrow. So I feel like oh, I haven't really done anything today. But yeah. So I really like this Packet Stars um new palette one size. Um, it says here Pat Patrick Star Vision Visionary eyeshadow palette. I really recommend it. Um, you can really use it um, all the time from work to evening. Sorry, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder for some reason. I like it. So yeah, please support Patrick Star and um, buy his products. I really think that um, for the start of his um, makeup journey, this 15 um, eyeshadow palette. Um, and what else did he put it here? One size fits all 15 pan eyeshadow palette with nine super pigmented mattes and shimmers, six eye-catching shimmers that are opaque, creamy, and blendable. Um, I think for the first um, palette that he actually owns, um, this is quite good. Um, the MAC collection that he had um, is quite good as well. I still use it, especially the summer palette, the, the one with the pinks, and also there's blue there. Um, I really like it as well. And the first one that he did it from MAC. And this one, I like it because it's actually neutral. And a little bit of um, the blue and the green and the black. I really like the Turban Legend. So, I really recommend it. Not just because he's Filipino. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I should have gotten also the, um, the creamy eyeshadow liquid that he had. Um, but yeah, I was more keen of getting this one because it's one big eyeshadow palette already. So I can choose and not just have one color. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, I'll try to film as much as I can with more beauty stuff. And um, film more as much as I can. It's just that the schedule. Anyway, para naman akong madam na madam to. Ano ba yan? Do I look like a madam? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Maybe I should have um, ironed my, my hair. It's all frizzy. Sorry, I just digress. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, this is my first try of Patrick Star's a palette. So please get it in your local Sephora stores. Um, you can get it online as well from Sephora. And Sephora has after pay already. So you know, you don't have to pay in one go. It's um you can stagger payment but it's not credit it's more of um from your debit card so you can do that as well yeah this is my look i think i almost look the same anyway yeah i'm feeling myself feeling myself okay bye guys i'll see you later bye Please like and subscribe and push that notification bell.